Hello, this is Euphrates Dayhout, tight lacing liaison from Dark Garden Unique Corsetry here with another vlog, how to care for a leather corset. So I just had a photo shoot in the rain in uh, Nicasio Reservoir a couple days ago and I was treating it with leather conditioner. And I thought to myself, perhaps the people of the internet would like to know the secrets of how to care for a leather corset. So here I am in my home studio <laughs> and I'd like to share with you um, just the basics on how to care for a leather corset. So be prepared and have the things that you will need. Um, I'd like to take this moment to say that my views are not do not reflect the, the views of the Boy Scouts of America only in that you should know how to start a fire. Anyway, what you will need is Lexol leather conditioner. That's anyway what uh, we use at Dark Garden. It's a good brand. You may have your own brand. If your corset is dirty from what other, whatever um, activities you may have been doing, you may want to use uh, Lexol leather cleaner. You can use an application brush it tends to be soft bristle, natural bristle, and then a buffing brush to get rid of the excess. Or if you don't want to go fancy with the brushes, you can just use a uh, application rag and then a buffing rag. Just any soft, clean rag will do. Okay, and then of course you'll need your leather corset. This is my new baby. Let me just tell you about this for a minute. It is a custom high back under bust, 18 inch waist, dolly mop, tail, custom corset from Dark Garden. I'll be doing a blog post all about my experience getting my very first custom corset on my blog soon. It was terribly, terribly exciting. Okay, so what you do is you take your application brush or rag and you put a little bit of your leather conditioner on the brush. You take your corset and you just go ahead and brush it on. Now keep in mind that a little bit goes a long way and you just kind of want to brush it on there. Don't like grind it in because you don't want to injure the grain of the leather. But just make sure to kind of work it in um, kind of massage it into that leather, making sure to get all of the spots. Now, like I said, my photo shoot was outdoors in the rain, so that's why I'm doing this. I want to protect it from um, the leather cracking uh, along down the line or getting any salt spots from whatever might have been in the rain, you know, acid or salt. So it's just good every once in a while if your leather looks thirsty to give it a drink of, uh, of moisture. These uh, leather conditioners tend to have tanning oils in them, which is just really nice to kind of condition your leather. So when you uh, give a nice area of your leather a brush or, you know, a nice massage with your rag or your brush, give it a few minutes to sit. And just let it soak up and soak in all of those oils. You know, find something to do during that few minutes time. I don't know what you might want to do during that time. And then, when it's time to come back to your project, you can get your buffing brush or rag and just buff off the excess. And by buff, it's lightly remove the excess in a circular motion. You know, just a nice circular buff. And you can start to see the leather come alive. It's really kind of drastic, especially if your leather has been really, really thirsty. This is a brand new corset, so it wasn't that thirsty. It was just a little weather worn from the photo shoot. But still, conditioning it 
for the first time is like, wow, you really get to see the texture and the, the flavor of the, the leather sink. I wouldn't necessarily do this with patent though, but I'll have to double check with the, the HQ at Dark Garden on that and get back to you in the comments section. Okay, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Ta-ta!